Welcome back, trainers. The Mirror Cup of August is going to be exciting. First, I want to tell you guys about the Jungle Cup that we had last month. It was the largest cup yet to be done with the Self League Arena, with over 2,300 communities being involved. And it's going to be a blast for to end of this season with the Mirror Cup. So, with that being said, the final cup of the season, this is going to be the last recording for uh, the season one. Not sure if they're going to reset all the rankings or what they're going to be doing, but this is the last chance to enter all your points for a season one. Um, so, do really well in your next cup, the Mirror Cup, whichever your community chooses, and get the strongest Pokemon that you can get and destroy your opponents. Sweep them right under the rug. Don't let them win against you. I'm just kidding. That's a little too intense. But if you want to be competitive, I have a nice chart for you um, after I show you something. Um, so the new Discord channel for the Sofa Arena is right here. All you just do is guys click the link here and it's gonna bring you to join. I already joined, um, but I'm not gonna get too much into that. The main attraction of this video is this chart that I built for you guys. So this is a season one regional top pick Pokemon that made it on my list. Um, th this is the general meta that you should be looking into, the Pokemon that you're gonna be seeing a lot, um, the teams that you're gonna be facing against, so let's get to some coverage. So this little mouse here, Azumarill, Azumarill, or however you want to call it, the little mouse with the blue fat belly, whatever. Um, he is going to be the number one pick for your team. Um, he's a super good generalist. He can take down the Metacham, the Metacham, who is going to be the main fighter of everyone's team. Um, with Play Rough, he's going to do super effective fairy damage to Medicham. And also, if you have, um, like, uh, Hydro Pump, you can take down the walls. Um, with a little surprise, they may not see you throwing the Hydro Pump. So you might blast them away with your Hydro Pump, blast the rocks away, the below bulky guys. Um, like Bastiodon. Bastiodon say like, oh, I'm a wall. <laughs> Hydro Pump. Oh. So that's that's gonna be interesting. But if you choose Ice Beam, you can take down the birds and the grass. So that's completely up to you. Hydro Pump does do a lot of damage to the birds too if they don't expect it. Um, so it, it's definitely. It's, it's a tough call. You can't have three charge moves, sadly. But you want to keep play rough for the mirror match, uh, Azumarill versus Azumarill. And then it's going to be your choice whether to have the Hydro Pump or the Ice Beam. I personally have the Hydro Pump. It does me wonders. Um, so I will let you decide on that. And then over here, down here, we have the Mud Boys, who like to throw the mud everywhere and then throw the charge moves. Um, they're going to be only weak to grass so these guys get off the charge moves really quick uh wish cash quagsire swamper which is a new addition uh he takes five mud shots to get to the super hydro cannon super powerful damage really quick uh and then we have our old buddy here marsh marsh top who ain't a pushover either he does um the surfs really quick I, I, I believe Swampert's in the number five spot. Test him out. He is squishy, but don't let that get to you. All you just need is a few shields, and you sh if you play him right, you can win the match really quick. Um, over here, we have the grass people, the grass the, who weed out the mud boys. Um, you definitely got to want one of them on the team, or people are going to be like, oh, the mud boys. Yeah, we got the Mud Boys. We just got to roll them over. Um, definitely have a grass in check, or you're going to get rolled over by those Mud Boys. And also, it's going to be a nice check to Azumarill. Azumarill is the number one Pokemon, as you know. 
Uh, so definitely, um, I do recommend Venusaur. Venusaur charges up his moves really quick. He's also very good against Metacham. Um, and he's also good against the, the walls. So the grass um, dries out the water with their, they're gonna soak up all the water, as you can see over here to the left. And then the grass is also gonna beat the fighting. They're gonna put the grass on the leap, or the, the grass on the fighting, on the fist. And then they're just gonna be like, oh, nothing happened. Okay. And then the grass is also gonna beat the, the rocks, because grass cuts rocks. Um, so that, that's, having one grass check is very important. Um, as you can see, Medicham is gonna be the center of attention, because fighters love to be the center of attention in the fighting arena. And Medicham is no pushover, even though he doesn't max out 1500. He is, he's still somebody who, can roll over a lot of Pokemon if he gets enough power-up punches. And he charges really quick using counter. Um, takes like about five, I believe, and then you get to power-up punch. Um, he's gonna take down the walls really quick because he can punch right through the walls. Um, so definitely have him on your team. If, sometimes you don't even need to use him, but he is a very good, uh, he's a very good generalist for everything. Um, Depend with shields, he can win a lot of matches. Um, so definitely put him on your team. Um, and then if you want a hard counter to the fighting, you need a ghost type. Um, Haunter and Sableye is punching through ghosts. You can't punch a ghost. You're just gonna phase right through, phase right through. So definitely Sableye, Haunter, very good picks. I do like Haunter, how I've been playing him. He does um, have Sludge Bomb, which is going to be super effective to Azumarill as well. Um, he, he also does very well against Venusaur with Sludge Bomb. Um, so definitely t take a look at him. He's a little easier to get than Sableye. Uh, Sableye does cast a lot of Stardust. Um, and if you want to counter the Ghost, you got to have nice walls that throw rocks, because throwing rocks through Ghost doesn't phase through them. Um, they get hit really hard with rocks for some reason. Um, so definitely, um, these are good picks against the ghosts. And all, not only that, they are there to throw rocks at the birds. So you're seeing a bird flying? Ooh, shut down! Rock throw! Um, rock throw, um, and Stone Edge, uh, Bastiodon is going to be hurting the rock, uh, birds really well. You're going to basically just farm up your energy and then have a lot of uh, charge moves ready for the next Pokemon. Uh, a nice wall will keep the birds at bay. So definitely consider a nice wall. Everyone loves a nice wall protection for bird safety reasons. Uh, it's like having a Scarecrow. You, you want to scare away the birds. Also, some wild cards to consider in your team. Uh, Charm users are new. Uh, they're going to be really good. Um, Wigglytuff and Togekiss, they're going to be really good um, in this cup. I um, believe they're going to be really good for Metacham. Never really tested it out yet. I want to get Wigglytuff or Togekiss powered up to check it out. Uh, Togekiss also is, has some flying charge moves, so it's going to be good against um, Venusaur or Tropius. So I would definitely check that out. They are good. Um, Jirachi? Jirachi has Confusion and Doom Desire. Uh, gets to it pretty quick. So he is a very good generalist. I saw some video gameplay of him. He is really nice. Um, I would love to get my hands on one, but I really doubt I'll get it. And we also have Gallade down here. Gallade is very good. Um, he has Confusion or Charm. So depending on what your team coverage needs, um, you can just fast TM change it. And you also have Leaf Blade, which is going to be really good against Azumarill and the Mud Boys. So he's, he's very good coverage for a lot of the Pokemon here. Um, he can take down Haunter. Um, he can take down Venusaur. Mud Boys, um, he can take down Azumarill. 
uh, depending on shielding scenarios and how you play him. So definitely check him out. He is an honorable mention. Um, so I'm going to leave this chart below. You can download it, um, save it to your phone, print it out, um, whatever you want to do. You, you can print this out and put it right on in front of the table as you do your battles. So you can be like, oh, okay, Venus is weak to this. Oh, okay. Miles Umero can take it down. If I know sometimes you, um, if you don't get too much into PvP play, you don't know the weaknesses and what movesets Pokemon has. So this is a nice chart. Um, a lot of coverage for the regionals. And I hope this is very informative for you. So if you like this video, please leave a like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. And I'll see you in the next video, trainers. Goodbye.